Welcome back to my channel, to a brand new video. In this video, I wanna talk about how a lot of photographers, including myself, are moving more towards the iPad and editing their photos more mobily because, mobily, <laughs> because the new iPads that Apple has put out are phenomenal and Lightroom and Adobe are adding updates to Lightroom and Photoshop on the iPad all the time that is making it more and more easier to edit photos on the iPad than on your computer. But there was one thing I was wondering how to do on the iPad, which is remove things from a photo. Now I know Lightroom has some tools to do that, but they don't work super well all the time. And granted Photoshop on a computer does it the best. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily remove things from your photos in Photoshop on your iPad. And trust me, it is so much easier than you think. So here we have this picture, really cool picture here at Archers National Parks. And I have this person standing right underneath the arch. It was impossible to take a photo without a person in it because there are so many people there. I was lucky enough to only have one person but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get rid of this person super easily. So if we go ahead and tap the export icon, we're gonna go ahead and tap edit in Photoshop. Now, if your Photoshop and Lightroom Adobe accounts are all synced up and everything like that, it'll just export it over super quick and fast. Give it a few seconds. And then you can then edit it in Lightroom. I mean, Photoshop. But I will let you know, you should edit your photo before you do this because if you send your photo back from Photoshop to Lightroom, it will not send it back as a raw file, it'll send it back as something else, probably a PNG or a JPEG. So I would edit your photo first before you do this. All right, now that we're here, we're gonna go ahead and tap the stamp tool right here. And we have clone tools. We have the healing brush, the clone stamp, and the spot healing brush. What we want to use is the spot healing brush. I find this works the best. The other ones, I'll show you a little bit later how those ones work, but I find this one to work the absolute best. So we can go ahead and adjust our brush size here on the left. And then I'm just going to go ahead and color this guy completely in. It's going to do a little kind of like shading over it. Once you have your subject, just let go and Lightroom will do its magic and remove him. And just like that, that's how easy it is. Your subject that, or the thing in your photo that was running your picture is now gone. And then once you're done, you just tap up in the top left, send to Lightroom, and it'll send it back to Lightroom, and you can export it from Lightroom and do whatever you want with it. And there you go, it sends it back to Lightroom. You have the original version, and then you have the version that just came from Lightroom. Now, you might be wondering, Lightroom can do that too. I can just use the healing brush and get rid of him. He's so small. Well, I'm gonna show you with this picture quite a bigger subject, quite a bit bigger object we're gonna be removing and show you how easily it can handle this. Now, you might be wondering why are we removing the subject of this picture, this awesome frog? I don't know. I'm just showing you how it can remove bigger and more complex items. So once again, we'll go ahead and send, um, edit this in Photoshop and it'll be sent over. And now we'll do the exact same thing. I'm gonna make my brush a tiny bit bigger and then we'll just fill in this whole frog. Just like that, he's gone. Now that was a really rough, quick, you know, fill in. You could do it a little bit smoother and get it closer to his skin and it'll look a lot smoother, but he's completely gone and I think Lightroom on the iPad does a really good job. I'm super excited that Adobe is adding a ton of features like this to the iPad because I'm really not a huge fan of editing on my computer, my iPad. I love how it's a big, huge screen and I can take it anywhere and edit wherever I am. Finally, I wanna show you on this last photo. We have this little pond here in the front. I think it looks pretty cool, but maybe the photo would look better with it removed. So this little bit of water, I'm gonna remove it. But like I said before, there are some other tools that we can use. So we've been using the spot healing brush. We can just use the healing brush. And how this works is you want to tap a point. So I'm gonna tap the snow and say, that's what I want where I'm painting to look like. So then we'll take the actual brush. 
and we'll change the size a bit and then start painting. And then as you can see the cursor where I pointed, it's going to use that area and just transfer it over to where I'm painting. But the problem with this is it only works on really small subjects. Because as you can see, as I start painting down here, it's painting in other weird pieces of the snow. And if I paint down here to get rid of these, it just starts painting in the pond which I'm trying to get rid of. So let's go back to the spot healing brush. I think this is the best tool to use to remove things in Photoshop on your iPad. We'll go ahead and just paint in the entire pond. We'll include this little piece too. Let go and Lightroom or Photoshop will do its magic and erase the entire pond. So that is how you remove things in Photoshop on your iPad. Granted, I will say that the computer does a better job. There are more tools you can use to get a seamless look. But I'm completely happy and satisfied with what Lightroom and Photoshop offer on the iPad. I hope this video helped you edit your photos better on your iPad and I will see you in the next video.